Number one, early decision. And for those of you who haven't gotten to this part of the process, uh, I'll explain it in a way where it'll make a lot more sense once you have a kid in the process. But colleges have this program called Early Decision, where <coughs> if you, and you guys are welcome to take pictures. Like I said, I'm also happy to make sure you get a copy of all this data. Um, where if you apply by a certain date, you apply by November 1st, and you say, you sign a contract, your parents sign a contract, and your school counselor signs a contract saying, if I'm admitted under the early decision program, I will withdraw my applications from all other schools and I will attend your school. <coughs> so now three parties are signing saying, if I'm admitted, the student will attend, right? They, in return, they get a decision by December 15th. So six weeks later, they're finding out halfway through their senior year. They don't have to wait until April 1 with most students. For a lot of students, that's pretty exciting. Um, if a student is signing a contract saying, I will attend if admitted, what is the yield on students who are applying early decision? It's 100%, right? So you now get 100% yield on a certain percentage of the students you're admitting each year. Well, Northwestern is a school that filled, two years ago, filled 55% of their entire freshman class in the early decision pool. And we're now in a place where two years later, and we haven't gotten all the numbers yet, we are seeing schools tip over 60% and even upwards of 70%. In the case of some smaller schools, over two thirds of the class is filled and finished by the time Christmas rolls around, right? So early decision, this is part of what we're doing with our students, you know, the college-wise students. We have to give a really hard series, that's part of the counseling we do. Let's talk about, is early decision make sense for you? Because if you decide, well, I'm not a little bit unsure, I'd like a little bit more time to think about it, that's fine, <laughs> but you may miss that opportunity, the one real opportunity you had to get into that school by applying um, early decision. Um, I should also note that we are starting to see, for example, there's a version of this um, called single choice early action, which Harvard, Princeton, Yale, um, Stanford offer, where you actually don't have to withdraw your applications from elsewhere, but you can only apply to them under November, by a November 1 deadline. Um, they're effectively working the same way. The admit rate for Harvard single choice early action is I think 15.3%, but so many of those students commit, even though they're not required to, that by the time we get to regular, it drops to 2.9% overall. So international now, remember, becomes a third to a quarter of that. So if you, you have to be pretty thoughtful and careful about these early options, and that's part of what we're talking to students about.